sounds to me like somebody needs to hit the gym. Excuse me? <laughs> I heard you strain when you picked up that milk. You can only weigh seven pounds. I didn't strain, I sighed. I don't think so. That was a grunt. A deep inhalation of oxygen to aid in the stretching of muscles. On the trainer. I know what that sound signifies. You're out of shape. Let me tell you, there's no fat on my body. <laughs> no fat. No bone either. You don't get enough exercise. You want the bench? Yes. Just the paper. 35. Hey, uh, let me ask you a question. Is this guy out of shape? I don't know. I can't really tell from here. <laughs> hey, it is. I am not. How much can you bench? I don't know. I'd say about 60, 70 tops. Oh, I know. I can bench more than that. 350. Four. No way. Feel that. Hey, that's tight. Solid. Yeah, I feel it. Oh, sleep, Chief. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Say you're ashamed. You know you're out of shape. There, take my card. I can get you on a aerobics free weights program. Are you open? Yes. I'm not out of shape. Excuse me, have you been here all day? Yes, yeah, since six this morning. He's got those love handles. I don't have love handles. Were you working here about four o'clock? Yes. Probably from being around all this food every day. Oh, I know. If I had to work here all day, I'd be bloated and out of shape, too. I'm not out of shape. You have your name, please? Dante Hicks, why? What's this all about? You're Dante Hicks? Oh my god, I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> because he's out of shape. Do I know you? Yeah, do you remember Alyssa Jones? She used to hang out with like Caitlin Bray. I'm her sister. Is your Alyssa's sister Heather? Yeah. Do you know, uh, say Caitlin Bray? Yeah. Pretty girl. A little tall on her, gorgeous body. Yeah. And you're Dante Hicks. You went to the same school. You played hockey. Yeah, how did you know that? Hey, man, you still going out with her? No, she's getting married. To you? No, to an Asian design major. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but, uh, I used to fuck her. What? Yeah, about two, three years ago. I threw a date I drove a black trans in. You're Rick Darris? Yeah. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> yeah. Caitlin used to talk about him all the time. Really? Well, wait a second. You used to fuck Caitlin Bree while I was dating her? Nah, man, don't let it bother you. That was a long time ago. I'm surprised you didn't know about it, Dante. Everybody in school knew about it, even in my class. Jesus Christ, what next? Here you go. What's this? The fine for $500. What? 500 bucks? For what? For violation of New Jersey statute section 2A number 170-51. Any person who sells or makes available tobacco or tobacco-related products to persons under the age of 18 is regarded as disorderly. What are you talking about? An angry mother called the State Division of Taxation to claim that a Quick Stop employee sold her four-year-old daughter a pack of cigarettes at four o'clock today. The New Jersey Division of Taxation called the Board of Health and sent me down to issue a fine. You claimed you were working here all day, hence the fine is yours. The fine is double due to the incredibly young age of the child. But I didn't sell any cigarettes to any kids. You sold cigarettes to a four-year-old? What a scumbag. That's sick, Dante. But I didn't sell any cigarettes to any kids, I swear. The due date is on the bottom. This summons cannot be contested in any court of law. Failure to remit before the due date will result in a charge of criminal negligence and a warrant will be issued for your arrest. Have a nice day. But I didn't sell any cigarettes to any kids. Hey, wait a minute. Forget it. I don't want to deal with the guy that sells cigarettes to four-year-olds. I, uh, you live somewhere? Sure. How about the beach? I like the way you think. <laughs>